Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse here, and I am back for another Low Vision Spotlight game video. And this one's a weird name. Um, we are looking at a game, actually it's an early access video, I stand corrected, and it is called Defiance and Mr. Good Looking. <laughs> yes, that's what it's actually called. Defiance and Mr. Good Looking. Um, I... I had heard about it while going through the E1M1 uh, game recommendations page on Steam. And for those unfamiliar, uh, E1M1 is a fairly recent uh, 2020 uh, digital and print magazine dedicated to classic or retro first person shooters. Not just the ones of yesteryear, but the ones that are kind of carrying on the older tradition of the 90s era, like earlier first-person shooters and I'm super glad that there is such a thing and I want to thank those guys because thank you to the E1M1 team um, I've thrown a little bit of uh, Patreon a couple dollars their way and as a bonus uh, for that I got a key of this game from them so thank you to E1M1 magazine I did get the code I have been playing it uh, off and on the last couple of days, and I am really enjoying it. So the twist between the twist on this one, you see these two dudes here. Um, you get Defiance and Mister Goodlooking. <laughs> They're you know just really low poly uh, kind of um, characters. But the twist is is you have two characters that you can swap between, and one focuses on guns and one on melee. And uh, so let's just get right into it here. Let's go into the tutorial level. I'm going to do a new one, and I'm going to go episode one. And we're just going to go to the first level. Um, so you have our character select. I'm going to crank her down to easy because I was getting my butt kicked, especially on the second level on normal. Uh, and I want to be able to talk while we're doing this. So you know, the, the print is generally decently large. Um, it is far better than uh, some games I've been playing lately, so not too bad there. Easy to tell which thing is being highlighted. And here we go. So, pop into our first level. And uh, I really love the art style. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. Just spawn a guy right in front of me. Oh, Jesus. You know what? I'm gonna... Wow, you know what? I'm gonna yeah restart level because I'm a dumbass. Uh, I'm gonna talk, and I totally forgot that there was a guy that spawns right in front of me. Hang on. Okay, so we're we're gonna do that again without sucking this time. See, so you see that little uh, poof, you know, kind of explosion effect that tells you that they are indeed dead. So. Like what I was going to say is I love the old school shooter visuals and I'm really digging the audio. I really like the music in this game. And each character that I play as, both characters for each level, they each have their own music, which is really pretty cool. I'm going to crank up my sound a little bit more here for you, or for me anyway. Make sure the audio mixing is decent. So here we got some ammo. So I can only play as this guy because this we, we're going through our tutorial here. Uh oh. Robots. Poof. I think some of them seem to take a little bit more ammo than I think they should. So that would be one. Like I said, this is an early access game. So. I kind of wish that some of them didn't take quite as much ammo, but uh, let's grab some health. You see in the lower left there, I've got uh, just some uh, like notches on a like almost like a battery level indicator, but it also has a percentage. Or oh, actually, okay, yeah. So we've done this room. Let's go back out. We want to clear the area. It's kind of slow, but there's some really cool methodic or melodic tunes. And we're fighting all these robots here. 
Okay, I think there's gonna be one more in here around the corner, if I remember correctly. Okay, we got two ammo, or two ammo clips. Okay, yep, yeah, you're gonna come on. Those guys will just charge you. Let's shoot that guy. Come here, buddy. Okay, they're toast. I think there's one more. Oh, yes, there's another robot in here, and I totally got plugged by him. Look at that. I like that cool, like, fog-smoked mist effect we got over the grating here. That looks cool. So you have the retro style, but it definitely has some newer effects that you couldn't do back in the day. And it fits. So we have to go up there. I'm just making sure. Okay, that way is blocked off. I happen to know that. Alright, so we get some health. Okay, not great health, but... We got ammo. Got him. Oh, more? Okay. Die! Man, yeah, sometimes they just take a lot of... I might have missed one of the shots there, but... They generally take a lot of ammo. Here we go. Typical switches in these retro games. Some areas in this first level I found got a little bit on the dark side, but not too bad. Uh, but it was easy to kind of miss little alcoves here and there. Okay, so we'll drop down this platform. Grab some more bullets. Yeah, you try to shoot me, punk. Oh god. Blow up. Blow up, man. Huh. Okay, we got one more. And I like their... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was pathetic. Let's uh, restart. Not a good start. Okay, four good shots. So let's go up here again. got that. Oh, we can go up here and get some uh, health. Now, the other interesting health mechanic is that because you have two guys eventually, um, if I don't need health, I can hit E and then give the other guy health. If I find a medkit, it'll, it'll give it to them. So that's kind of a cool mechanic, is you can kind of share some resources, and you're collecting resources for each other. Boom. Okay, grab that and that. We'll kind of fly through this first part here, hopefully. And not get too destroyed. How you doing, buddy? Okay, I know we got at least one more robot in here. You really do got to watch your ammo, because that is one thing I will say. I have run out of ammo. A fair few times with this guy, and that can screw you over. Big time. Okay, we'll go up here. We're going to have two guys in here again. So we got... I'm just going to run up on this guy and go... Uh, oh, okay, that was a bad idea. Now I have two angry robot beasts after me. Okay, that could have gone better. Could have gone worse. Grab more ammo, grab more health. <clears throat> right, okay, now we can go down again. I think, did I die in this room here? I think I did. Okay, so let's drop down. More ammo. No, you don't. You punk ass robot. There we go, that guy's toast. Let's get that health. Okay, and there's a guy that's gonna come. Oh, there he is. There he is. 
Okay, do we have any more? Idgits. Grab that. Look at that lava. That is a cool retro effect. That is sweet. I like the way that looks. Not quite Minecrafty, but on a similar sort of a style. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. We're gonna jump over here. Can't remember what's over here. Some terminals of some sort. I think this is locked, yeah. Let's see, what else? Okay. Oh yeah, we go up here. Ammunition. I'm digging this music though, gotta tell ya. Ah! Get up there. There we go. Okay, we got some cabinets we can unlock. Oh, oh. Tell you what. Boom! Now, that is a risk doing what I just did. I did a... I knew there was health, so I was generally okay. My secondary fire basically unloads three shots, so I can boom, you know, just... If I'm dead on, I can really massacre an enemy, but... Seems to take a blip of health away. So, just like your classic 2D beat-em-ups brawlers, your special attack... This one in particular, anyway, um, kind of has a drawback to doing it. So you don't want to use that unless you really, really have to, or you get a really bastard enemy that you're trying to deal with. Okay, I think there's guys in here, too. Of course there is. Of course there is. Which way are you going to come first? I want to draw one at a time. Come here, shithead. Blow up. I think I always run out of ammo in here. I, no, I just did. Fuck you. There, I got a health kit, so I'll get that back. I'll get some ammo, get another med kit. So, yeah, that's the really bad part is... I think especially on a lower difficulty setting, I don't think they give you enough ammo. This level, I've kind of made do with, but the second level, I've gotten mostly through, I think, but I kind of got lost a little bit, but I don't know, man. I think, especially on lower difficulties, there's not really all that much ammo and health, uh, especially ammo. Well, eh, kind of both, but, you know, that would be one thing that could be increased as far as, like, you know, balancing out the different difficulties. I'm not quite sure... You know, I'm sure there's uh, enemy damage and what damage you take and stuff like that, but number of resources is usually, excuse me, a pretty good, pretty common. Okay, I jump down here. Ah! Eat it. Yeah, so we jump down here, and this is kind of a weird spot and now we're locked in we can't do anything well now it's telling us hey we can switch <coughs> and see how the music switched I like it all right so we gotta switch up here we gotta do now can I do this without sucking uh-oh, get away. Come here, come on. Okay, that guy's toast. I think that, yep, that's locked. And now we are pretty much right where we started with our other guy. So, um, in the next level we start at the same area too, together. In the same, or in the same entryway. So... Let's do that. Let's give him some health. Okay, I think we've got a robot coming around the corner. Come on, bub. There we go. Oh, okay, I thought we had another one. A little, like, tipper, ticker tape effect. Alright, so grab that. Now remember, i got to keep 
really mobile here because I don't have projectiles, which I kind of like melee, but it's easy that you it's easy to get really messed up if you Okay, he's screwed. Anybody else can't see through this thick fog. Okay, we we'll grab that. We should both be pretty well topped off right now. I think this is still locked, yes. Okay, so I'm trying to remember, I know this path diverts some, because we can go up here again. Um, but the switch is already thrown. So it's already flipped. Yeah, so this part is kind of dark. And now you notice we don't have this uh, drop down area anymore, so I have to figure out where in the hell I think. Okay, yeah, we go this way. Okay. Totally digging this music, though. Right, okay, I'm vaguely remembering this. I think I vaguely remember getting my ass kicked, so I'm gonna leave that health alone for now. Okay, come on down. You're the next contestant on getting cleaved in half with my sword. How about that? Ah! Blow it up. Right. Okay, we do a little lava platforming. Ha 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 ha. I remember. So we kill him. Yeah, better grab it. Okay, so we jump down. Look at that effect. That's just cool looking. It's pipes and platforms and stuff. Okay, I know there's going to be a bunch of guys up here. Get up here and they're going to be pissed. Um, I want to... I don't want to use that health right now. I wanna, oh, jeez. Okay, he's... Oh, jeez. No. Okay, how is our... Got a valve. Alright, health is fine. And I'm trying to remember what that valve hath done. Um, okay, so that's still there. We don't want to do that. I think we can go... I'm trying to remember. Okay. A little color lighting, you know, almost like kind of like a Quake 2 era effects, but with a little more extra like particles and stuff. This is, I really like the look, like this is the presentation on this is quite good. Quite good. I think, anyway. Uh, I've seen a couple people saying online that, oh, this is, it's too repetitive and then, like, there's no map and everything, but a lot of those older games, like, some of them, yeah, you did have a map, but I didn't find them all that useful. Um, and I've always been more of an explorer, so for the most part, not having a map doesn't super bother me. I think I got... I think I got lost... Okay, no, there's more guy. Okay, there's guys in here, so we are going the right way. Can I, oh, God. A couple of robots. No. Bad robot. Gotta talk like Zoidberg. Okay, we got those. Um, can I go over here? I, honest to God, don't remember where I'm supposed to go right now. So because robots spawned in this big room here, I know we are on the right track. Because, of course, if there's enemies there again, then we know that we're doing something right. Because video games. So... Where doth we go now? Oh, I wonder... Oh, I wonder if I think I can switch now? Let me take one more quick peek around. Because I like my ninja guy. And I also like this music. Like I said, I'm digging the hell out of this music. So, I think what I did... Actually, I might even be able to come down here. And I wonder if I'll be able to see... 
Okay, that's where I started. Uh, okay, it won't let me switch yet. So clearly, can I do anything down here? I don't think so. That's where I came in. Okay. Yeah, I, re I remember getting lost here. Uh, I killed those guys in that main room, and then I didn't remember where the hell I was supposed to go. So... I'm overlooking something obvious. Got our question mark tutorial message there. And this is just a dead end. It's like broken. Um, I don't think I missed a switch in this lava room. I don't think. Because, no, I hit the valve up there. So that should be accounted for. I reckon? Maybe? Okay, what other passage is available? Because I can go up there, but that's a dead end. Can I go... Okay, I can't. Everywhere seems to be a dead end, and I, honest to God, don't remember where the hell I'm supposed to go. I've overlooked it, I'm sure, three times by now, at least. Jump up here, up here. Yeah, there's our switch. It's already been flipped. Like I said, I've been here at least three times now. Can't jump there. There's nothing... Like I said, there it could be a dark area where I'm just, just not... The lighting is just not there enough for to, to draw my attention. So that could be... But usually, like I said, if I find enemies that respawn in an area, you'd think that means... I mean, I can go... I can go down in the thing again through the lava. Okay, jump up there. Jump up there. There, there. Okay. So up here we've got the... bridge. Oh, for frick's sake. Yeah, well, see, look at this. Okay, let me go down here again. I totally overlooked it because, you know, I went back and looked there. There was enemies that respawned. It is easy when you look at it at a certain angle or if you don't miss it, but, like, just the whole, you know, floor is red, walls are red. I mean, yes, you have the little, um, you do have a light there. You do have, this is just probably me being oblivious. And I do remember, like I said, I remember going back and killing those guys in the main room. So I just instinctively... Oh, right. So now... I'm going to get... Okay. Right. So this actually has energy now. I can only use this so much. So I'm going to get behind this douche. What's up? save that switch back to my original weapon okay grab more energy fuel cells for my okay right I gotta jump up here broke okay oh yeah 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 okay robot damn robots Oh, we got another one. Oh, okay, it died. Oh, really? I thought it would spawn me at the other... Oh, man, really? Oh, okay. That's not so bad. Okay, where is... Yeah, this guy keeps following me. You bastard. Oh, man, and I just used those healths over here. That was dumb. Now I only have two health. Well, two blips, but... Yeah, okay. Well, live and learn. Live and learn. I mean, I could walk over here, jump up there. So I did that. See, is there anything down here? Any... Aha! Yes. Check the dark corners. Never know what you're going to find. Thank God there was a checkpoint right there. I didn't have to do everything over again. That is very, very much appreciated. Okay, more fuel. You know what? Let's use this because I have the fuel. 
Okay, I'm guessing you're telling me that you want to go down here. Uh, sure. The hell am I? Oh, I'm here. So I hit a switch. What is... Oh, okay. Now I'm really law. Now I don't know where. Let me see if I can actually... I'll put them right about here. Nope, can't switch yet. Uh, of course, this is your tutorial level, so you can't... I wonder if it's up here. I wonder if I can go in here now. No? Can't fall. No, they didn't break open or anything. Just some mesh gate or th their, uh, wall there. So I fell down in this lava area. Was there another door in here somewhere? Telling you, I don't. I do not have this level memorized. Um, so I fell down from way up there. That would tell me what exactly. Oh wait, I wonder if there's a door up here again somewhere. So I went up there. There's the valve. No, there's really no door. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's go up there again. Now that I've killed those dudes. So yeah, I got the better weapon. Got my question mark. I could fall down there. But to what end? Mm. Okay, make sure that there's no... I got the health that was hidden back over there. Yep, that's where the health was. Yeah, looks like I gotta drop down that hole for something. Maybe not as far? Uh, Cause I have beaten this level. I just don't remember where, I, I don't. Ow. Um. It's not a no. It's a terminal, but it's not a switch. Can't. Nope. I can't switch characters either. Tab. It won't let me do it. Oh crud! I'm almost certain it's not back this way. But I can do another check for some health. Probably grabbed it all because this is all the beginning door over here we missed or it's locked again this is where I started so that's not gonna work okay what dumbass thing am I missing I wanna at least show you part of level 2 cuz level 2 is a fair bit harder aha at least for me okay so we haven't been here yet I don't think or wait no have we No, I don't think we have. I think we can fall down there, but I just want to make sure. Okay. Oh, right. <coughs> okay, so now we're going to join up with our buddy. Okay. Alright, except things are a little bit different. There, There's a door here now where they're... Okay. Oh, boy. Keep moving. Don't let him shoot you. Classic shooter logic. Do not stop moving when there are dudes in the arena. Okay. Well, that went okay. 
can switch back to my original. Let's check out some lava down there. Uh, okay, what are we doing here? Oh, spiral stairs. Spiral stairs. And they will go up here. Oh dear. Hi. Why don't you come around the corner? I got to show you something. No, damn it, and I fell. Okay, I'll just go up there again. You want some? Oh, okay. I'm trying to lure him down, too, but he's just staying up there. Da-da-da. There we go. Hit him from behind. Get that. Grab some more fuel for my upgraded sword. And the switch does what? Oh, there's a door back here. I wonder if I can open it now. Yes, I can. Uh, I'm just gonna... Okay, there's one guy in here. So... There we go. Got the bathroom here. What the hell? Fla okay, I thought it like disappeared for a second. Alright, so that wasn't where we were supposed to go. Uh, let's go upstairs one more time. Okay, so we got the balcony. Uh, okay, well we have the catwalk above us. Still. Hmm. Actually, I wonder if I can... Eh, no, that's probably too far. Yeah, I'm going to bump my head there. I wonder if I can... Can I jump? Ah, here we go. Ah, no! I thought I could try to jump on those. Oh! You're new... Oh, yeah! That is a new room. And my buddy's there, too. So, hopefully this doesn't go too south. Okay, that guy's toast. Health is okay. I know there's gonna... Oh yeah, I know there's gonna be more. Okay, he... Oh, oh my Jesus! Holy balls, this guy... There's a lot of guys in here. Ninja this, man. We done? Have my energy. Okay. I think we're almost done with this level. Pretty sure. Alright, so. What was the point of jumping up here? Uh, nothing, apparently. Okay. Okay, we got a couple more demon bots to kill. Uh oh, okay, hold on. Now I gotta switch back to my run out of energy. Come here, little bastard. There you go. Got him. Alright, so we're keeping on with melee right now. I forget which one is which. I think. Defiance might be the melee guy, and then Mr. Goodlooking, I think, is the... I think is the... whatchamacallit? Uh... Melee dude? Let's jump up here. Grab that. Much needed. Yeah, we gotta be almost done here. Okay, what do we got in here? How many guys are gonna spawn? Oh, bloody hell. Okay, we got one. Yeah, circle strafing, circle strafing, and there's a bunch of robots. I should probably be the other guy. Fuck. Yep. Okay, so now we gotta avenge our buddy, and we can bring them back to life if we get some, if we get ourselves full health. So I gotta remember, we gotta go up here. I think 
Yeah, and that. Oh dear. Okay. Well, at least I killed a couple of dudes. Okay, one dead. Oh dear. Stop. Uh, is there any health back here anywhere? Uh, fuck. You know what? Oh, that was bad. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, we got one more. Probably shouldn't have done that extra fire, but... Okay, we got more ammo. Uh, actually, health is better than I thought it would be. Actually, I'm not going to hit that because I think that's the exit, and I don't know if we regain health and whatnot, so I want to get as many resources as I can prior to exiting the level. Okay, we got more ammo. Okay, I think... Oh, wait, what's this do? Okay, what did that do? What did that do? Da -da -da -da. So yeah, this guy's more this guy's more subtle, the music. The the sword guy's a little more rockin', on this level anyway. Okay, so there's our buddy. He's hanging in there again. I think we are I think this might be it. I think. Okay, I thought that might be it. Uh, yeah, I want it. Oh, okay, I think. Okay, we're platforming. To what end? I don't know. Uh, doesn't seem to be important. I don't think. Okay, nothing up there, nothing up there. I know we gotta be toward the end. But this should give you, definitely guys, should give you an idea of, uh, let's go up here. Aha! There we go, I knew we were almost done. This should definitely give you an idea uh, if this is something that you might be interested in playing. Like I said, I am digging it so far. Early access, clearly we're gonna have multiple episodes. This is episode one here, so we're going to the classic uh, retro shooter style all right so now we are playing as our ranged guy again I got fairly good into this level but uh... okay now there's gonna be a guy let's go grab gonna be an idiot guy that spawns boom eat it now I don't think I can spawn no I can't make that I can't make that jump so I have to go up here but I know there's gonna be a guy uh-huh ow See, oh, there's another one. The hell did you come from? I only remember them being one. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. Um, but I'll kind of breeze through this a little bit and um, show you kind of what we got going on here. So. Oh boy. Lure him out. Okay, we got one. Uh-oh. Oh no. Kill it. So I took him out, sacrificed myself. And... Oh god, where the... F hiding out there? Where did you spawn in? Okay, so... Things are not going particularly well. But... I sacrificed myself to make sure that other bot was dead. So now I gotta find some health as this guy so I can get full health and then 
revive my buddy here. He's kind of not feeling too good. But the problem is we got a whole bunch of dudes up up here. So I'm probably going to die, which would be a good place to end it anyway, but... Yeah. No. God, yeah, I kind of feel on an easier difficulty. Like, they still are kind of spongy. The enemies are spongy. Oh, God. Yeah, see, there's so many. So that is where we're going to end it. Um... But that is Defiance and Mr. Good Looking Early Access. You can get it on Steam for about nine, ten bucks. Uh, I saw it on, when, it, when I looked at the Steam page. It was like on sale as I'm recording the video for like uh, ten percent off. But like I said, thank you to E1M1 Magazine for the free code for this. And uh, I really hope the developer can finish this game uh, soon because I am enjoying what I've played so far. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and right here on YouTube. So until next time, I'll chat with you guys again later.